thanks to Pastor Peter, Pastor Chad, sharing the knowledge. Um, Royal did a good job. Happy birthday, Royal. Yeah. Happy birthday. <laughs> One of the things we do here is like, I don't, I want to support a couple of promotions. Um, I don't do belt tests and um, I don't do like big belt ceremonies where you got to show up. You know, that just, whenever I feel like promoting people, I just start to do promotions. Um, so when, um, one of the things is one of the guys who's been working really hard, been coming in um, and you know, uh, you may or may not know, law enforcement officers are near and dear to my heart. One because my son is officer, my father was a police officer, and um, this young man, Drew, he worked really hard. Come on up here, young man. <laughs> he has a really tough job, and um, he always comes in with a good attitude, he gets better and better at jujitsu, and um, I really appreciate having him here at my school and working. Another guy, you don't stand much, and um, one of the things that's near and dear to my heart is any of my military community, because military guys, like notoriously, when they go through their journey, because every two or three years, you go into a new duty station, and they sort of get neglected in promotion. You know, like, I'll have people come here that are really talented, that have been a, had a belt for a long time, and, you know, like, they don't, their belt doesn't really reflect their skill level, and so I'm always on the lookout for my military guys. So, the military guys are here, here in my heart. So, uh, Kino, come on up here. I don't want to see Kino as much because he, um, he's working in the, the PA program. So, on what free time he has, he trains really hard. I always see him with, you know, with the black belts in here, working really hard. Um, and then when I roll with him, I can immediately see, like, this dude, he's got mad skills. And um, really tough. He's a really good learner. Um, he always has a great attitude, so I'm always glad to see this dude. And um, whatever free time he has to come in. Because, you know, some of us can come in all the time. And some of us got life obligations that you can only come in sometimes. Yeah, I'm always glad to see you, bro. And um, one of the things, like every school is going to have different um, philosophies on promotions. Like, I judge you on your skill, but I don't care about like how the rules go. Like, I don't watch people roll in here and say, oh, this purple belt just got tapped out by a blue belt or a white belt. Like, oh, you know, maybe I should take your belt back. It's like, no, I don't want you to roll like that. I want you to roll to train. So if I'm rolling in here and a blue belt catches me, man, I'm fist bumping. I'm like, good job, bro. I'm not trying to let you catch me, but sometimes, hey, things happen. So that's how I want you to roll. I want you to roll with a good attitude. I want you to help your training partners. And I look at people, do you help your training partners or are you just here for yourself? So that's one of my, my um, promotion ideas. Like, do you help others? And then can you actually teach? Because that's a big thing. Like, you could be a tough guy and like just, you know, mop up the floor with folks. And it's like, well, you don't need a belt because you're not teaching anybody. You know, it's like, I need you to be more than just a tough person or a tough fighter. I need you to be somebody that can pass that knowledge on to others and that's willing to share that knowledge. You know, I don't need the ice man in here just killing people every role <laughs> and then you don't even tell people. And you probably heard me tell the story before where like, man, I was a white belt, this blue belt, he would always mount me would do the Ezekiel choke. And I had no idea what the Ezekiel choke was or even how to defend it. And this dude, he probably Ezekiel choked me in my mouth like a hundred times. And not once did he ever bother saying, you know, if you defend this, you know, or you do this, you know, like, you won't end up and, you know, getting choked out. I didn't realize what he was doing to me, really, until and I watched the instructor teach it one day and I'm like, ah, oh, that's what this dude's been doing to me. And then I was like, hey, how do you defend that? And then he showed me how to defend it, and then I rarely do I get Ezekiel choked anymore. But this one dude, he would just choke me out again and again and again and again, and 
never mentioned like, hey, you know, like if you do this, you know, it'll be a little bit more difficult. He was just happy to, you know, I'll just choke this white belt out again. So you should share that knowledge. If you see somebody's got a flaw, you know, or they don't know how to defend something and you're training with them, you're rolling with them, yeah, you know, maybe you tap them out once or twice and then you can be like, hey, you know, if you do this, you know, you won't be as easy to sweep, you won't be as easy to tap. This is how you defend this. And then that makes you better too because now they're gonna be more difficult to launch these attacks against. So um, I'm always looking, can you teach? And so this guy, I put him on the spot today, see if he could teach, and he did. Come on up here, Roy. Don't worry, but had he sucked at teaching, he wouldn't be promoting right now. Right? But he did a really good job, I was super impressed. He's got excellent skills. Oh man, now the streak is over. I'm watching. They ask the old purple. Clearly he's been watching it, but he needs yeah, to do better. My gosh. Yeah, the wife watches it, you just don't know it. That's uh, good. That's good. No, Ain't no magic to me. Look, there's a lid. Surround lid. Surround lid. That's what's up. Thanks. Man, super proud. It is his birthday today. And he just randomly showed up, and I'm like, oh, let's do him. But it's not a birthday present. Yes, he earned this. Very cool. All right, so thank you guys so much. As always, we'll do open mat. And um, successes, y'all. Have a good time. Congratulations. We keep working hard. And, and all these guys that are working hard for the tournament, they're going to be well. So. All right. That's about our founders. About each other.